We begin with breaking news tonight. Infamous killer Charles Manson has died. The Department of Corrections just confirmed the news. Crystal Cruz joins us live from our newsroom with more. Crystal? Hi, Lena. I just got off the phone with Deborah Tate, sister of actress Sharon Tate, one of the Manson's victims. Deborah also confirmed a prison official called her about an hour and a half ago to confirm the serial killer's death. Tate's sister Sharon was pregnant when she was murdered by the Manson family. Tonight, Deborah says she hasn't had time to process his death. She did tell me she said a prayer for Manson's soul and that basically she's forgiven the family but refuses to forget what they did and what Deborah says they're still capable of. Manson had been ill for some time. He was taken from Corican State Prison to a nearby hospital just last week. The Department of Corrections says Manson died of natural causes at a Kern County Hospital at about 8.13 tonight. I'm Crystal Cruz in the studio. I'll send it back to you. All right, Crystal, thanks. Charles Manson has, of course, a long history here in Southern California. KCAL 9's Jeff Vaughn takes a look back at the series of murders he's orchestrated. Before 1969, few people had heard of Charles Manson. Then came the two-day rampage in Southern California. What happened, Charlie? Manson was convicted of using his cult to turn followers into killers and ordering the murders of at least seven people. One of them was actor Sharon Tate, wife of director Rowan Polanski and eight months pregnant at the time of the murder. Manson believed the killings would help bring on an apocalyptic race war, which he called Helter Skelter. What is the hearing? Manson was born to a 16-year-old mother in Cincinnati. He grew up in a series of foster homes. By the time of the murders, had been in and out of prison for much of his life. I've been watching you, uh, watching you on the tube. In 1986, CBS's Charlie Rose interviewed Manson at San Quentin Prison, where the convict said he had no regrets. But in the world that I live in, I've never made a uh, bad move in my whole life. Even when it came to the murders. Murder? There's no murder. There was a murder of Sharon Tate. Come on. There's no murder in the Holy War, man. It was that what? It had nothing to do with. Was that? Was it a Holy War? Was Sharon Tate's murder a Holy War? The whole thing is a Holy War. Manson's cult spoke about a Holy War against the rich and powerful. Four of his followers were convicted in the murders. All of their death sentences, including Manson's, were commuted to life in prison. Manson was up for parole 12 times and always denied. For nearly half a century, his name marked the gruesome end of the peace movement, which promised love over war. Jeff Vaughn, KCAL 9 News.